right, Jenna, thank you. Well, the summery weather recently has more people spending time outdoors, but for one Putnam Valley man, a routine walk with his dog turned out to be anything but routine. He got attacked by a falcon at the Bear Mountain Bridge. News 12's Anna Wires is on the bridge right now with a story you'll see only here on 12. Anna. And Brian, he's a little embarrassed about the whole situation, but Bob Newman also keeps a good sense of humor about it, even having a good laugh about the whole incident, being attacked by that falcon here on the Bear Mountain Bridge. But on Sunday, it was anything but funny. You see, he actually had to go to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. You can't really see it, but he got me right in the back of the head, and I guess with his talents, he went really straight forward. Bob Newman's head is healing, but you can still see the bruise on his arm and the scrape on his knee. It's all the result of a falcon attack on Sunday, while he and his wife were walking their dog across the Bear Mountain Bridge. And all of a sudden, the back of my head, bam, I get hit. And I thought somebody threw a bottle. But it was no bottle. It was actually a falcon likely protecting its nest. The birds have settled under the bridge and were told by workers here that they actually have baby chicks down there. Workers say that they've been attacked in the past too, but not injured, probably because they wear hard hats on the job. The casual hiker, not so protected. Touch the top of my head and I'm bleeding, and I look up and I see a bird fly by. Bob, his wife, and dog quickly ran off the bridge, still being chased by the angry falcon. The incident landing Newman in the emergency room to clean out the cut and get a tetanus shot and antibiotics. But despite the embarrassment, he says he feels he wants to warn others about possible bird attacks here so no one else gets hurt. Maybe you should put a sign up there that, uh, you know, to be careful at the birds are nesting. Now the DEC tells me that they are aware of an unusually aggressive female falcon on the bridge this season and tell me that they will evaluate the situation after nesting season is over, but that's not for another couple of weeks. As for the sign idea that Bob Newman had, they tell me that they will look into it. In the meantime, be careful if you plan to cross the bridge by foot. Reporting at the Bear Mountain Bridge, Anna's Wires, News 12. And I hope those falcons don't start coming after you. Thank you very much. That is a strange one there. Now,